situation? Absolutely not. I mean, this has been tried more than 30 times. Uh, we have still emerged victorious. People have gone to the court to try to stop the convention. Um, there's no basis to stop that convention. MMT President Nevas Mumbas declared there will be no postponement or restriction from taking place this Saturday's party's national convention ahead of August 12th. Dr. Mumba is not wary of any legal action that could be taken to prevent the convention from being held. First of all, it's a requirement by the national constitution that every political party goes to a convention. So any Democrat will be happy uh, to, to know that political parties are going to uh, the convention. And um, uh, the Registrar of Societies uh, has been fully informed. She's really looking forward to the outcome of our convention. It's in writing. She wrote it to us. And she believes it's the right thing to do. Um, the courts have mandated us to proceed to ensure that um, uh, we have our convention as a way of ensuring that we start afresh moving into uh, the election and beyond. And Dr. Mumbas maintained only party members with good standing who take part in the convention. The convention is about people that are already in the structures. The entire National Executive Committee attends. Um, we have, uh, you know, uh, 14 coming from each uh, province attending. Then we have 10 from every province. And then we have five from the, I mean, five from the districts and five from the constituencies. So it's, it's really an in-house arrangement. For someone to be there, they have to be in the structures of the party. So anybody who wants to attend um, outside that, they have to come as observers or invited guests to be part of the process. But there will be non-voting delegates. Meanwhile, MDC Media Director Tabu Kawana insists his party is only in an alliance with the Zambian people at the moment. Like we always emphasize that the MDC is born out of demand of the people. Uh, we have emphasized in the past before that the number of registered voters in the last voters' row was 6 million. And only 3 million people voted. And... Uh, the other three million did not vote. That is because they had no confidence in the ruling party and they had no confidence in the existing opposition political parties. This is a grouping that has called upon the MDC to come into formation. Therefore, the MDC draws its strength in the fact that it is a party demanded for by the people of Zambia and we are ready to form government. And we can assure you that we are going to run in these elections. We are in no alliance with any other political party yet. And if need arises, we will inform the nation. But for now, we are in alliance with the people of Zambia who have called upon us to come and be uh, the governors of the country. Mr. Kawana has also weighed in on what sort of gap Trevor Mumba, who held the position of chairperson for economics in the MDC, but who has now accepted the job with the European Union, has left. Of, of course, we will miss uh, the contributions of uh, Chairman uh, Sumumba, but we can rest assure you that the team in, in MDC we are not short of human resource. We have a lot of people that are of quality because what has happened is that the people of Zambia have identified that this is a political party that they want to be uh, associated with. Therefore, what you may want to term as cream de la cream of the country is within MDC. And therefore, we can rest assured the rest of the country that there is no shortage in terms of manpower, in terms of skill, and in terms of experience in the MDC. Mr. Sumumba has been employed as EU senior expert on trade attached to the African Union. Lazarus Sichula, Movie TV News.